Hi guys, Prashant here. And uh, in this lesson, we will be discussing about the uh, usage of search term report. Now, before I jump into teaching about search term reports, remember, we have already discussed about keywords, the match types, how Google decides what ads to be displayed, what is ad rank, quality score, how to create these uh, campaigns, the campaign level settings, account level settings. And my primary purpose behind creating these videos is to teach those skills that you don't have to go to an institute to learn. Generally, when you go to an institute, you waste your time learning these things. But essentially, what I recommend is never go to an institute to learn these things because they're already available in umpteen number of videos. You go to an institute to learn something in real time. You go to an institute or a boot camp to learn something in a real time at Postbio, right? Unless you work on real time account, you'd not be able to understand. Anybody can create a campaign. Remember, anybody can create a campaign. Just because you know how to create a campaign, nobody is going to offer you a job. Even if they do, you would be kicked out soon, right? So watch my videos very carefully, practice them, and you want to work on these accounts in a real time atmosphere, that's when come one-on-one -on -one with me. I can teach you to an ex extent that you will have experience equivalent to five years. But before I jump in, I wanted to share this with you. So yeah, so we'll continue with the session, right? So search term report is one important report that you have to go check every day, right? It doesn't really matter if you're a fresher or an experienced guy, you're 10 years with AdWords, it doesn't matter. Every day when you're working on campaigns and your campaigns are running, you're click, getting clicks and impressions, remember you got to check this report. And search term report, the name itself says, who enters search term? Users enter search term. Where do they enter them? They enter these search terms on google.com, correct? So when these people enter search terms on google.com and they happen to see your ad and click on your ad, Google will record these many impressions you've received, Google will record these many clicks you've received, right? Like they see. If you see the impressions, it says, hey, this campaign was served for these many times and these many number of clicks you've got. These campaigns have got these many impressions, these many clicks you've got. But the question is, when these people have searched and found my ad these number of times, that is impressions and these many number of clicks I've received, I wanted to understand what people have searched. I don't want to just know okay, how many clicks I've got. I want to know what people have searched when they saw my ad or what people have searched when they clicked on my ad. Because if I get to know these things, what I can do is I can go find how many of those clicks were relevant to my business, how many of those clicks were irrelevant to my business. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to this campaign called AdWords Search. I'm going to go through this ad group called SEO Training. And in this SEO Training ad group, I've got so many clicks. I want, I've got so many clicks. You want to see the clicks I've received all time for this? Just give me one moment. I go to ad groups here. When I go to ad groups, you find, see how many clicks I've got? I've got 2,971 clicks. Now I want to find as to what people have searched. What did they search when they saw my ad? What did they search when they clicked on my ad? Because if I know them, I can go and maybe increase my bits on certain terms which are very relevant or maybe I can find some negative keywords and I can put them in my negative keywords list so that my ad will never appear so I can save my marketing budget, right? So I go to the ad group. I go to keywords. Remember, here you have search keywords, negative keywords. Earlier, keywords and negative keywords used to be in the same place. So if you have to write a negative keyword, you used to write with a minus symbol. But now you don't have to do that. All you have to do is if you want to write a negative keyword, you can write them directly in negative keywords. So you have, you have keywords, then negative keywords. And next to that, you have search term report. This search term report is very important every day. Even if you have one click or if your ad appears for 10 times, 15 times, you still have to go and check it. Every day you have to go and check. Why? One irrelevant click is not just a click loss. One customer loss, remember. So you don't just be happy when you know you got a click. No, you got to find out if that click was relevant or irrelevant. One irrelevant click, maybe you lost 120 rupees. No, you lost one potential customer, right? That's how aggressive you have to be when it comes to irrelevant clicks. So to understand whether a click was relevant or irrelevant, you find them through search term report. So when I go click on search term report, it will show me all the search terms what users have entered. SEO training in Hyderabad, SEO training in Kolkata. And again, I told you this is a dummy account and I, I run this account only to try my things and I, I run all different things, right? So it is not a particular account, a proper optimized account. It's an account where I teach people to work on data, right? So they'll, so they'll practically get to understand as to, you know, what works, what doesn't work, how to, you know, navigate and become more familiar with the interface, right? So, right? So imagine, imagine, Prashant, I'm, I'm running my ads only in Hyderabad. So I'm giving only training in Hyderabad. Then SEO training in Bangalore should not, uh, when people type in SEO training in Bangalore, they should not see my ad. But why it happened? Maybe they matched my broad match modifier keyword, SEO training. He, he typed in SEO training in Hyderabad 
and it matched my keyword which is SEO training which is in broad match modifier but Prashant my ad should not appear like that I should have written Bangalore as a negative keyword so now that I found what I can do is I can find Bangalore and I can write Bangalore as negative keyword negative keyword can be written here why I don't want next time if people search Bangalore I should not be served now you come back like this you see online training I don't give online training just imagine I don't give online training which I do one on one I give online training but in case if I say I don't give you I don't give anybody online training so I should not be served this ad when people search this right so I can take this word online I can put them as a negative keyword right Pune I don't give in Pune so what I do I put that in a negative keyword right so you can and see your in, our intention is not just to find negative keywords maybe as you go through that you will find some keywords which are potentially more important oh wow are people searching like this wow what I can do is I can take that and put them as a keyword so search term report will not just help you find negative keywords it will also help you find proper keywords which you can bid on right this will help you understand how people are researching for your business guys remember search term report helps you understand how people are researching for your business it's very important every day you got to go and check that report you don't check that for one campaign you check that for all campaigns irrespective the number of campaigns number of clicks you have to go and check that all right you see that <coughs> exam oh people type like this as well SEO training in HYD generally we don't we don't have this thought of writing uh, a keyword in acronym right but it did match and a lot of people are searching like that so what I can do I can take this and put there as my proper keyword in exact match you see some people searching for fee structure I should not show my ad when people type in fee structure because they're looking for fees they're not looking to join so maybe I can write fee as a negative keyword right so let's go to other other ad group let's go and check for that ad group what search terms you have so if I go to AdWords ad here I'd find search term report right he says how to contact Google AdWords in Hyderabad his intention is not for training his intention is to contact Google support but my ad appeared he even clicked on my ad that means I wasted my money I should not have appeared so what I can do I can put how as a negative keyword or I can put how to in a phrase match and put them as a negative keyword so my ad will never appear when people type in how to in the same sequence right so guys work on these report every day you have to go and check it if somebody would ask you in the interview what do you do every day you tell them that you work daily basis on a daily basis on search term report because you can't neglect one irrelevant click and you can't neglect to find one important keyword or one extra keyword right get thank you so much guys and you can stay connected to watch my other videos on YouTube I've created a complete playlist to teach you end-to-end -end, uh, AdWords right right you can become a master by the time you watch these videos spend some time I'm not teaching basic stuff I've created the entire uh, entire uh, uh, playlist teaching you all these things that I teach uh, to people right if you still wanted to learn beyond that and how they are connected how they are uh, how they are how they work and how to troubleshoot if you come across an issue that is what you're supposed to learn in one-on-one -on -one training right guys thank you so much you can go through my website prashanthrenigunteller.com if interested you can drop an inquiry there I'd be more than happy to get connected to you thank you so much and I would see you another with another video thank you